Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm Stephanie. Um, I'm getting my dream bedroom slash bookshelves. I love reading. I do a lot of law content slash book related stuff on this channel. But for the most part, I just kept buying organizers that would let me store my books. And they would be like random small organizers that would just fit in corners of my room because I didn't have the space for an actual bookshelf. But now I finally have one. I was able to like rearrange my room, get new furniture, things like that. And I'm super happy with how this turned out. And today you're going to see like the process of me <laughs> trying to not build it because I had my brother build I had my brother do it for me, but just organize it and I'm so happy with the turnout. But if you guys are interested in seeing like my dream slash bookshelf and just just see it, obviously continue watching. Remember to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos as always. And let's get into the video. Okay, so as you can see, I have my new bookshelves, which I'm so excited about because I have a bunch of books and I've always just kind of put them or bought organizers that would just fit my books and that would fit in my room. But I finally invested and got rid of other furniture so this could fit. This is my main bookshelf and now we have this one to fill. Um, all of this is from Target. I've been having these. But this one is from Target as well. I also got the Ikea wardrobe, which is still in the process of getting put together because they messed up my order. But today we're going to focus on putting this together. I have a lot of the books that are going to go in there on here. I showed you like a before how I had them, but this is just like another perspective. I have no idea how I'm going to organize this. All I think right now is that the whole bottom one is going to be rom-coms or something like that. Because I don't really read rom-coms, so I don't really care that they're at the bottom. Uh, fantasy is going to have to have one of these sections. I'm hoping it will fit in two because I don't have that much fantasy romance. Um, but we'll see. I think I'm going to just kind of put them in categories and then see from there. Okay, and then I also have this section in my room. It's at the very beginning of my door have more books i don't know if i want to grab some books from here i think i want to grab this section and this section just because it's some of my popular books the rest of these are kind of like thrifted that i loved that i love but it's like maybe keelan books i'm a chase so more old school romances i think i'm gonna grab all of these and i definitely do not want to move any of the books from here because it just matches perfectly all this is dark romance, literally mafia, majority of this mafia, Rena Kent, um, Gianna Darlene, good vibes. This down is all forbidden taboo books. One of my favorite, my two favorite tropes. So I don't want to move this. So I need to figure out how I'm going to organize this. Okay, I think in this corner, I am doing Christina Lauren because I have a bunch of her books. I have Emily Henry here. I just don't know how much... I want this like this I don't know but I kind of just put it in the corner right now because um, I have yet to read any of these books it's all rom-coms and I quickly discovered after these like I bought at the very beginning most of these are thrifted but I realized that I'm a very dark romance girl <laughs> not a rom-com girl
Okay, so I want to give an update. This is everything failed. Um, honestly, the only thing I'm having trouble with is, for example, like a book fits here, but I don't know what to put there, and I don't want to mix because I'm such a Virgo that that bothers me. This is all hockey. These are the only two ice skating books I have, so kind of same vibes. Um, F1. But I kind of hate the F1 is here because all of these right here and these are hockey as well. Um, this is rugby. So it's like kind of random, but that's what fit here. This is all football except soccer. And then this is um, basketball. Baseball. But once again, a bunch of space. This was my PD shelf. But then... I decided to display Devil's Night because it's one of my favorite series ever. Um, so with that being said, I was able to like put these books here. Which, by the way, this series right here, The Hollowable, The Hollows Boys by Monty J. It's exactly like Devil's Night. It's so good. It has its own plot and it's amazing. I'm barely in book one. I'm 200 pages in right now, but I put it here just to see how it would fit, and I like it because it's dark romance. Um. Here, these two are just kind of like billionaire slash arranged marriage slash marriage of convenience books. Um, following next here, this is dark romance as well. Companion novel series. One book fits here. I just, I had just six Venom here, but it's like I want to have PD here. I don't know. Um, down here, it's kind of random. I don't really know how to describe the shelf. This one is the one that's really random. Then this is like fantasy. Fantasy, more fantasy. And these books are... I mean, this is the Never After series. And that is retellings. And then as you can see, these are kind of retellings. So I'm just going to call this my fantasy. So just a fantasy section row, I guess. The rest looks like this. That was my is displayed and my goal is to buy the other mystic box of kill switch to have it displayed here because right next door in my dark bookshelf i have the original covers displayed um so it's like i want to have that this is just like what i have on top okay a little intermission because i just received a box with my Uggs. I ordered Uggs and I'm so excited to open it. Um, so I'm going to show you. I thought I was recording. Apparently not. But let me show you. Um, I got the Ugg minis. Which are adorable. These are so cute. Now we're going to open the second box. And these... These are the Tasman slippers, which are also so cute. Okay, these are so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I thought these were going to be red. I swear that's the one I ordered, like, with the red stitching. But it's fine. I'm obsessed. I'm, like, in love. Okay, I think I didn't end up giving the final result. So here it is. Um... I actually love it. I think it came out perfect. And then if you just move across, you have... That's a whole other stack. A lot of this is um, books that are like kind of for movies. So like Fifty Shades is there. The whole trilogy. I have some Vampire Diary books. Um, things like that. And then a bunch of arcs. Then it continues up. I already explained Dark Romance, Taboo. Then we have my favorite books in my floating wall shelf. Uh, taboo books, just regular books. And then Calloway, and then Born in Blood. And then, in right before when we enter, we have the rest of my books. I put all my rom-coms here and all my thrifted books that are kind of like more old school here anyway so i'm going to give you a quick overview of each section at the top i put my christmas tree i always have my christmas tree um early i am not a halloween girl i'm a christmas girl and i put this immediately as soon as it's like september 
I put Devil's Night on display because it's my favorite. I put Corrupt. I'm on the lookout to get Kill Switch. I'm dying to get it. As you can see, I have the original cover displayed here. Um, I have like my speak and then this notebook is when I went to Europe so it's filled like it's like a diary perfume iPad which I kind of hate that it's there but I'm just leave it and then I have the never after series this is kind of like I wouldn't call it fantasy but as I mentioned this is like a retelling um, kind of like retellings um this is a parallel universe it's really good it's a duet and then down we have shatter me the what is this blood and ash series which i love i had to put the rest of the um shatter me books here and then i have uh Akatar, crescent and city and then the hawthorne series i think that's what it's called trilogy i'm currently grabbing or the third book is on its way just because I just couldn't deal with the fact that it's just two and I need the third one. At the top, this is like billionaire, romantic, um, arranged marriage, marriage of convenience. Follows into the same thing here. These are um, marriage of convenience, billionaire, more billionaires. Um, down here, we have like dark romance, continues to dark romance PD. Down here, this is the most random one, but I feel like it kind of makes sense um trilogy these are like in a series but standalone technically um kind of like cute romances so i just kept it there we go to baseball romance football romance basketball soccer rugby um f1 these right here that's um hockey and then the final one is hockey so this is how it came out and I'm so proud of it like it looks like perfection like I am so happy like watching TV last night in this was everything because I just love staring at it so since I showed you how the bookshelf ended up turning out I want to do give you a little book haul um, because I bought books right before I bought this bookshelf not knowing that I was gonna buy this bookshelf but I bought books and I want to give you a book haul because I always do that but I haven't done one in a while so let's do a book haul real quick okay so let's start off with one of the new books which I'm pretty sure you guys saw because I explained how I needed to buy this book because it just felt weird not having it so I got the final gambit which is the third book in what is this called the Hawthorne series I think that's what it's called I own book one and book two which I got at half price books but they didn't have the third book and then this one was barely gonna come out in paperback I don't know if it was published and that's why they were like taking forever to come out with this cover but I got it unfortunately <laughs> it literally just did not fit down here so I just have to like put it right here with the rest of the fantasy books I have so that's one of the books I got and then the rest are mainly on the forbidden taboo side but I'm still quick gonna show you because why not um so I got these two books which is a duet first of all I hate the covers but this is dad's best friend which is probably my favorite trope I love forbidden taboo books and dark romance as well mafia oh, love it but I saw anytime I see like new dad's best friend I immediately pick it up because I'm obsessed with reading that trope and I got this um it's desire which is book one I think by Max Henry and I saw her on TikTok so that's how I decided to get the books and I have regret it just sounded good like literally the back says four simple rules don't lust after your best friend's daughter don't get into a physical fight over her honestly what got me is like don't get in a physical fight over her oh got this other dad's best friend book and it's the third book in the i think this is called the virgin series i read book one already which is kind of similar to dad's best friend it's dad's business partner the second one i haven't read which is um my ex's dad this one is dad's best friend um don't know much about it other than that i have yet to read it but i'm gonna do one day really quick very soon hopefully a dad's best friend book recommendation because i have so many that i've read i probably read about 20 books from that trope so there's that okay i got him by ll L L ash um i love this cover <laughs> that's all i can say this is best friends 
dad and I always have hesitation to read those type of books because it's like you become your best friend's stepmom and I kind of don't fuck with that but at the same time this one just sounded interesting because I think she never has lived with her dad her parents are separated and I think they're both in college and they move in with him because he lives in the college town and it's just the fact that they're in college and maybe hopefully there's a scene where like a guy asks her out and he gets jealous I don't know it sounds good um, I don't know if she's been best friends with the girl since she was a kid or it's just like this is my friend from college hopefully it's that but anyway it just sounded interesting and I'm gonna give it a try but I usually stick like stay away from best friend's dad because it's like that's your girl and then you're gonna be her stepmom kind of it's kind of weird it's a duet but it's actually gonna be a trilogy I'm so excited for this because it's giving off balance um I have break for you which is book one it's a volleyball coach student relationship and it sounds amazing and then we have um leave me broken and once again it has the number here and they're chunky books i think each one is 600 pages but i'm excited for this because it's giving off balance okay we're almost done with the book haul um next we have our illicit desire this is by rory ireland and tate monroe this is step uncle um it's on the short side but i read it and i absolutely loved it this is like 200 pages i think but um she doesn't have a place to go to and her stepdad is pretty much like you could go stay with my brother and i just gotta say the parents in here are so terrible but it was one of the funniest books because the parents literally acted like toddlers and i was just like well, what is going on but it was such a good book um it was short but it was good as i mentioned and then we have dirty monsters which is this is also a step uncle or step sibling i don't know it's one of those um but the thing is that she gets admitted to an asylum and he's a doctor there so it's also like you're my doctor but you're my step sibling step uncle one of those sounds really good either way and then we have off limits by astra rose this is stepdad sounds amazing um i like this cover i think back then it used to be a very you know what type of cover but now i love this cover um so i got these okay and i'm kind of lazy to take this off i got the good girl by nikki sloan um it's the new one from the nashville series um i just finished it last night and i liked it i gave it four stars i just think it's pure smut it's a brother's best friend romance book fake dating as well it was good it was just literally smut and i kind of wanted more than that so i gave it four stars and i'm lazy to take it off but it's right here and it was good okay and to finish off the book haul i just gotta show this book because i'm pretty sure this is not a shocker for the people that have been seeing my book content videos but for the people that are new and obviously i told you my best like my favorite trope ever is dad's best friend i bought my favorite book um dad's best friend book in the special edition this is torn by carrie and cole and i'm so happy that i'm got that i got this it's the mystic box edition it has the beautiful sprayed edges the cover is just stunning it's like this girl um obviously kenzie it's just beautiful and i'm so happy i bought this um i have collected pretty much every single book that i love in special edition so the fact that i have this just meant everything to me because i was trying to buy it for my birthday but i just couldn't get it at a reasonable price because everyone resells everything for honestly such a stupid price in my opinion i still paid a decent like um uh, like a decent amount for it but not as much as people are selling it for so i'm happy i bought that and it just looks so pretty and i just want to show you because it looks amazing like literally it looks so pretty we have torn this is my forbidden shelf by the way we have inked and lies and then we have what was meant to be unconditional um just literally all my favorite books on display and obviously we have corrupt which i showed 
it looks pretty okay and that is the end of my book haul i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys like this video remember to like it as i mentioned comment down below if you're like me and you just buy small organizations that fit in your room or you actually have bookshelves because for the longest time i didn't have bookshelves but now that i do i'm legit just a happy girl and yeah until next time